everybody it's blue ducky and I'm super excited to bring you some new ever after high doll review and this is gonna be of the sugar coated line along with the sugar coated class play set and I have holly gingerbread that comes with the play set cedar wood and Madeline Hatter before I get started, I just want to thank all my viewers for watching this video. And if you are a new viewer and see the subscribe button down below, please remember to hit it so you can stay up to date on all my Ever After High and doll reviews. And also, I get asked this question a lot. Where do you get these dolls? These dolls I got off of Toots Toys. I got them on sale for May the 4th. They had a sale. And um, right now they're having a promotion where if you order $100 or more, you get free shipping. So first off, I'm going to start with cedar wood. And you get the sugar-coated little logo there, which looks really, really cute. And here's a look at her artwork, the little portrait, and her name, Cedar Wood, daughter of Pinocchio. And here's the back of the box where she has this recipe for sticky sweet truth cake. And then her artwork and her outfit, which looks really cute. And then the other dolls in this line, Ginger, Madeline, and Holly. I just want to take a moment to show you the background um, that they came in in the box because it was really, really cute. They're all the same for the other characters too, so I'm going to only show this one. But I love the little gingerbread and cakes. Peter comes with a gold Ever After High stand and key cone. She also has this really cool cake that she comes with. It looks like it's made out of wood with blue frosting. And there's a little Ever After High logo on the top tier as well as a little bird. And it has wood grain all around it. I'm not sure what this peg is for, but um, I kind of think it might have something to do with the playset. So we'll see when we open that. Which I'm going to open that at the end so I can have all the dolls involved. Here's an up-close look at Cedar's face. I really like her makeup. It's subdued with a hint of color. You can see a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink in her eyeshadow. And then she has pink lips with the darker pink streak in the middle. Here's a look at her hair bow which kind of looks like it's covered in sprinkles and then it has some pink syrup dripping down and covering her little cricket. And Cedar's hair is really soft and silky. I really really like it um, but it's her natural pretty brown and then she has the curls in it as well and it came out of the box pretty good still has curls in the front and it's bouncy and soft and I really really like her hair. An up close look at her necklace which is not a lavender with blue accents and her shirt underneath is white with a brown um, lines that look like wood grain and then it has this belt piece that kind of looks like a apron makes an apron and it's pink with a little bit of brown and it looks like drippy ice cream or syrup. And then the apron piece looks like a waffle cone with some sprinkles. And the skirt part underneath the apron is just a pink with black lines, simple skirt. And she also does come with a wooden spoon in blue. And here's a look at her shoes, which I think personally are really, really cool and awesome. They remind me a lot of the Monster High Sweet Screams shoes. A um, couple of people had like the melty look to their sho strappy shoes. Um, but they're blue and they look like melted frosting. And getting a closer look at the bottom of her shoe, it looks like a waffle cone pattern. And then maybe like sprinkles on the top of her heel and toe. Here is sugar coated cedar wood once again. Uh, she's one of my favorites, I think, out of the line because I really love her shoes. And um, she's just really, really pretty overall. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below telling me. Next up will be Madeline Hatter. 
And here's a look at her artwork. And it has her name, Madeline Hatter, daughter of the Mad Hatter. And here's a look at the back of her box, which has a recipe for chocolate tea cup pudding. And her artwork as well. And a little paragraph. And Madeline comes with a gold Ever After High brush and stand as well. Here's a look at Madeline's little uh, accessory suite. And it looks like um, some teacups with a teapot and then probably that pudding that she had the recipe for uh, in it with a nice pearly base here. Once again has that which I'm pretty sure it has probably to do with the play set. An up close look at Madeline's face which I really like her makeup. She has the teal over the top eyelid and then some purple underneath. And then a nice plum lipstick as well. Here's a look at her earrings, which I thought were really cute. It looks like a, like a frosting a heart on her ears. And a look at her headpiece, which is so adorable. It's a teacup with maybe tea or that pudding inside, but that has a little gingerbread man hanging out in the teacup. As for her hair, she has lots of wine colored streaks in it with, um, the mint color hair as well and she has a little bit of a braid there that goes back into a elastic band and then here's a look at the back in general when I do toy reviews I don't mess with their hair too much when they come out of the box I might run my hand through it a little bit to try to fluff it up a bit but her hair isn't too bad out of the box the curls are a little bit messed up but uh, I've seen worse. Another little accessory that Madeline comes with is this pastry bag. It's a pearly white and it looks like you could do really cool frosting with it. Here's a look at Madeline's necklace. It's a blue color ruffle kind of choker necklace. On the front of her dress she has this awesome apron. As you can see it has gingerbread man, cake slices, tea, pots, all that good stuff. And at the top, it has a little uh, purple ruffle around the top. It also has this adorable purple belt with a bow in the front. Now I was trying to see if the apron part was removable from the rest of the dress, but there is a stitch right here, so the apron is attached to the rest of her dress, which you can see is a brown color with white polka dots. And then she has white and pink striped sleeves. And then the skirt part, um, it looks like fudge over a white and pink striped fabric. Looks like chocolate sauce dripping down on her skirt. Here's a look at her shoes, which make it look like she's wearing frilly white socks. And then brown shoes with a waffle kind of pattern on it. And the toe has pink roses maybe pink frosting roses because it looks like it's melting a little bit over the toe of her shoes and then on the heel it looks just like chocolate cool chocolate balls and here's Madeline once again all together uh, what do you guys think of her? I really love her, but I don't foresee myself not liking any of these sugar-coated dolls because if you had been if you have been my subscriber for a while, you probably heard me say how much I like dolls that have candy food themes included, like Monster High, Sweet Screams, and now um, sugar-coated Ever After High and the. Uh, the other one with Blondie Locks, Just Sweet. I really like them. The Candyland kind of theme or any kind of food incorporated into the fashion and accessories. So this line is just like one of my favorites ever for Ever After High. I think it's so cool. And finally here is Holly O'Hare. The last uh, standalone doll from the Sugar Coated line. And her artwork and her name, Holly O'Hare, daughter of Rapunzel. And here's the back of her box where you can see her recipe is for a tiered trifle tower tort. Wow. Uh, it's a <laughs> mouthful. And then there is 
Holly in her outfit in a little bit at the end here with the other girls in the line. I definitely would love to see <laughs> all the characters made into this line, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I would love to see it. Uh, Holly also comes with the gold Ever After High stand and comb. Here's a look at the little dessert that Holly comes with. It's a little cake, you can see pink with some brown on the top. And then it comes in this really cool silver cake case that has a plastic globe over the top that is removable. And there has how it looks without the, the, the plastic top on part. And you can see the brown part is a little castle on top of her pink cake. An up close look at Holly's face. And she has purple and pink eyeshadow with a nice uh, pearly pink lipstick. She has the same earrings as Maddie only in a pink color. She has a blue pink, uh, I mean a blue hair accessory that looks like it's supposed to be um, holding your hair back in the ponytail. Sort of like a scrunchie. To look at Holly's hair, you can see she has a braid around the front of her face and then some of her hair's up in a ponytail, but the most of it is long and loose with a little bit of a curl. And her pretty uh, red color. I love the color of her hair. It's sort of like strawberry blonde, I guess you'd call it. And on her necklace, it's pink with some of the uh, heart-shaped cookies, like her earrings, and some flowers as well. And then her dress underneath is pink and purple. And then she has a skirt apron on the front that is attached to her bottom dress. And you can see there's lots of sweets on it and it looks like a splash of frosting across the middle some cookies sprinkles all sorts of sweet treats underneath the skirt is just that pink color fabric and a simple skirt that is touched the rest of the dress as well For her little baking accessory she has a blue oven mitt and here's a look at her shoes which look extra melty and syrupy they're pink with a bit of brown on the toe part dripping down and you look it has like a sprinkle texture to it and a waffle cone kind of texture with syrup or ice cream melting down the sides and on the heel part as well and here's one last full look at holly in her sweet outfit what do you guys think of holly like i said i love all of them and she is no exception she is so and cute finally the last thing for this video is the sugar coated class with the included gingerbread house doll we're going to be taking a look at it quickly um and seeing how the other girls look with it and this comes with 10 plus accessories there's a picture of it, a sweet display for your doll and accessories, and it's sugar-coated. And here's a look at the back. It has two storage areas and frosted treats. It just, this accessory playset looks so cool. And I guess on the back of the blueprint, you can uh, hold a photo. So here's an up close look at Gingerbread House's face and she's looking really cute with light pink lips and uh, eyeshadow. Has these adorable Gingerbread Man earrings as well. Look at her headpiece which is a little chef's hat with a gingerbread on it on a gold hairband. And her bright pink hair is just back into a side ponytail with her bangs. And these bangs are really nice straightened and uh, gelled she as well. She also comes with this wooden spoon accessory and she has this pink ring which it might be hard to tell what it is on camera but it's a little gingerbread house and then she has a gold gingerbread man bracelet and then on her other hand she has an oven mitt and it's blue with a waffle pattern. Here's a quick look at her dress and she has this pink melty looking belt and then the skirt has gingerbread men and gumdrops 
and all sorts of candy-like colors. And then going down to her shoes, which I really, really like these shoes. Um, you can see they're like sandals in the front, but boots. And they have sprinkles, and the bottom has like chocolate. And the heels are really cool as well because they look like little window and door. And Ginger does come with her glasses. These glasses, they're a little different style, I believe. But um, they're gold and look like twisted, maybe licorice. Here's how she looks with the glasses on. And she also comes with this little gingerbread house. It's so adorable. All the little details. It looks like someone took a bite out of the roof. And very, very nicely detailed and painted. Now quickly going over the playset, here is the oven. And this playset did require some assembly. Um, so if you're younger, you definitely want to get parents help because some of it's kind of harder to put together. And the oven, the top oven part here opens. So you can put storage in there. There's a little um, frying pan that you get. Has E-A-H in the middle, forever after high, and that can go inside this little storage area. And then there is a cauldron that looks like bubbly liquid spatula that you get. And then there's a fireplace, and it looks like uh, lollipops on either side of the yeah, fireplace. This adorable little chair. Looks like it's all like gingerbread are holding up the chair. On the back is gingerbread man as well. It's really really cute. Get a bench here that looks like it's made out of like those wafer cookies, and it opens up so you can put the accessories inside here as well. And the little legs are like candy. Now here is the item that had the most assembly required because you had to put on these pink parts as well as the blue here and you had to connect it to the base as well. So it did take quite a bit of, um, like I said, putting together, but it is so cute. Look, the bottom here is gingerbread men. And then you have the little Ever After High Girl logo there. And it looks like it's made of like frosting and candy canes. And then on the top there's some pretzels. And it says Ever After High. And there's a king or queen uh, gingerbread. And then a long stove here as well. You can hang things from the little candy cane things there. And then it's like a stove top here. And then there's little pegs, holes that you can put the different the different treats on. You got a couple cupcakes and a piece of cake here that can go with your set as well. And finally you get this easel that you have to put together that has the little blueprints recipe for a gingerbread house and this is the part where instead of putting this in here you could put a photo in this size here instead it could be a little photo um hanger okay so here is the playset and all the dolls and accessories all together i this is definitely my favorite ever after high playset and line so far I think it'll be great for play to make up, you know, ginger teaching, baking class, teaching these girls how to make different treats. And also if you like to just like take photos and set up scenes with your dolls, this is a really great set with a lot of different accessories and the dolls fit in perfectly with it as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching this unboxing and review of Sugar Coated Holly Cedar 
and Madeline. Um, and then the Sugar Coated Class Playset Review with Gingerbread House. I hope you enjoyed seeing each of these dolls and then the playset up close and seeing them all together here. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me what you think of each of these dolls and the playset. And finally, if you enjoy seeing Ever After High reviews, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I do appreciate it. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye!